Hey guys and welcome to another Warframe video. So Barrow was back this week and he's finally brought something a little bit different. A new weapon at last. So let's check out the brand new Prisma Robex. So if you haven't picked up the Prisma Robex from Barrow already, you're either going to have to wait for him to come back again or to brave the depths of trade chat to be able to get it from another player for Platinum. So how does it look stats wise? It's pretty typical crit based melee to be honest. Base damage of 25 with most of that coming as impact. And that's supported by a 25% critical chance, 200% damage multiplier, and a 30% status chance. More than that though, it has a super fast attack speed of 1.33, which means that when you combine that with Berserker, you can throw out a silly amount of hits super, super quickly. But where the Prisma Obex shine is like that its normal counterpart is the extremely high finisher damage it's got. And that combines incredibly well with the brand new Syndicate mod from the current event, Entropy Detonation. In fact, the only downside for the weapon I can really see is that the range on it is super low, so you're going to have to be right up in the enemy's face before you can hit them in it. The Entropy Detonation mod for the Obex is not a particularly difficult one. In fact, it's almost exactly the same as the Acid Shell mod for the Sobek. On a ground finisher kill, the target will explode, dealing 1000 blast damage plus 20% of the enemy max health in a 10 meter radius, as well as adding the Entropy effect onto the weapon, and that deals a thousand magnetic damage every time it procs, plus restoring 25% of your base energy and boosting your base energy by 25% for 30 seconds. I like this augment a lot. Scaling damage on a weapon that hits as hard on ground finishes like the Opex does gives some real nice scalability. The damage is really nice. Take down an enemy with a lot of hit points like a bombard or a heavy gunner, and a lot of the time you're going to either kill everything around you with the blast. Or at the very least, you're going to do a lot of damage to them, snuff, uh, you know, softening them up and making them way easier to kill. I love mods like this. Acid Shells is a core part of my Sobek build. More mods like that are always welcome in my books. So in terms of the way I actually built the Prisma Obex, there's nothing too crazy going on here. It's got no polarities to start off with, so I chucked on two former. Both of those are Vs, then built it with a pretty standard crit build. Prime Pressure Point, Blood Rush, Drifting Contact for both stages, Chance and a Combo Timer. Organ Shatter for crit damage, and then there's a couple of things you could do with the remaining mods. Um, either you can go with a 40-ish percent status chance and use the 90% elementals, or you can really push your status chance up with the dual stat mods. This is really going to be down to whether you prefer more status or more damage, it's going to be down to your playstyle. The third mod, there are a couple of things you could do here. You could go with the new augment mod, Entropy Detonation, if you like your ground finishers. Or, if that's not really your playstyle, you could go with Condition Overload and really push that damage output. I wouldn't recommend Shattering Impact, I'm sure someone's going to ask about in the comments. The amount that it removes per hit is simply way too low for me to honestly find it of being any use. I'd much rather run Corrosive, especially on a status-based weapon like these, since it's going to do a better job of stripping armor than Shattering Impact is. So what do I think of the Prisma Obex? Do I think it's worth taking and maxing out? And the answer to that is absolutely yes, I do. If you like these types of weapons, they are fantastic. The weapons themselves, they are super good. They do a lot of damage, especially with how fast they hit. It's a flurry of crazy, hard-hitting strikes. I love the stance as well. That crazy breakdancing of Brutal Tide looks so badass. Might not be the most efficient stance, and landing this sort of overhead kick can be a little bit wonky, but it is so satisfying to pull off. The Prisma Obex really are a pocket powerhouse weapon. The combination of crit and status is the ideal combo in the game, especially if you're not running corrosive projection or are solo. Running corrosive on a status based weapon, and then combining crit with that as well as condition overload or the augment depending on your playstyle, these things are crazy good and gives you so much options. In all honesty, the sparring weapons like the Prisma Obex, the Hirudo, that sort of thing are the perfect sort of combination between damage and power and range. Um, they don't have much range at all, but they're pretty devastating when you do get up close. Unlike another weapon class I could mention, which is like the daggers or the dual daggers. I know some people want me to compare the uh, Prisma Obex to the Hirudo though, but I don't really want to do that. I like taking each weapon on their own merits. The weapons are different enough that honestly they can't really be compared I don't think. Especially with the health steal the Hirudo has is its own specific thing. The Augment is the own specific thing the Prisma Obex has. I like both weapons and I definitely feel that they are both fantastic sparring melee weapons. So I hope you enjoyed my quick look at the Prisma Obex. Definitely weapons that I can see myself using occasionally. 
and would recommend the 240. It needs to be able to max them out. I've got more Warframe videos coming in the next couple of days. Super Vandals coming tomorrow. Augment reviews coming after that from the event, as well as the last episode of my Titanfall playthrough. So for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next video.